everyone, I'm back again and today this is it. This is the video with this violin because the topic is how to pimp your right. Well, not the right, how to pimp your violin. And um, how to do this, I'm gonna explain in a, in a few sentences. And it's super simple because let's say I have five, I pointed out five different steps, which are super easy. Everyone can do them, I believe so. And uh, these steps, they will really increase your sound immediately. Yeah, and also the look of your violin. So let's get back to this violin. By the way, if you like this channel, if you like the videos, please follow me, please share this channel. Uh, would be a, a, a great uh, favor for me. But um, yeah, what is this violin? Um, a few days ago, I posted a video where I um, explain and where I uh, announced that I bought a violin, which is this one, <clears throat> for 80 euros. And uh, it was uh, really amazing what I got there for 80 euros. And uh, it's a used violin, approximately 40, 50 years old, which is already way older than a brand new violin by Amazon, uh, for example. And uh, Often why I like to go for used violins is, uh, first of all, they are not much more expensive, more expensive than uh, brand new violins, often with a super shitty sound. And um, they are also used, what means they, they really work already. And the sound often, because they are used, they are kind of uh, tuned in, uh, the sound is already a little bit better or a lot better uh, because the wood, it worked already a lot. Also, the other thing why I like to go for used violins is to support everyone who is going for a better instrument and uh, kind of collecting, saving money, so to support this idea. And But the most important thing is I just love to keep old violins alive. And this is why I always used to advise to everyone, go for used violins and support these ideas. But now let's go back to this one. So I bought it for 80 euros, including two bows which are quite okay and uh, a violin case and um, sound wise the violin was mm, not in a really good shape and now we come to the five points how to pimp your violin immediately and if the violin like the the bass what i mean the wood everything if this is really good and solid made then you will see a huge difference and the sound i got now at this violin is really impressive for 80 euros it's Easily this sound now gonna beat even more expensive violins. How to do this it comes now after the little video where you see what I did. Have fun with this. Thank you. 
there we are. And now the five steps easily and let's go through it. Step number one. First, you should always clean your violin. How to make it? You just take rice, you put the rice in this F holes and you start shaking the violin all the way like this, like this. So the rice goes everywhere and the rice will really clean inside perfectly. What rice you take doesn't matter, basmati or normal, whatever. And then you need to tape the, the F holes, you turn and you shake again. So finally you cleaned everything from inside, which is already nice and super good also um, just to have a clean violin. Step number two is also pretty simple to clean the violin or to bring it in a good shape. Outside you just take um, a, a bit of, um, I, I, I don't know the word in German, we say politur, which is uh, which you can get uh, by a violin store or a violin <coughs> builder, violin master. And they have often a, a little, uh, a little glass of a specific liquid which is non-alcohol alcoholic and then you put this on a, a little towel or whatever and you start uh, cleaning the violin and after this it's gonna be perfect it will look as good as possible number three concerning the scratches this one has a lot of scratches on top I just left them I painted them a little bit but if you are kind of if they annoy you I recommend to go for uh, whatever pen color uh, acryl or you just go to a, same you go to a violin store someone who repairs violin or build violin and you ask you ask gently to to remove them as much as possible which won't cost a lot actually but if you are fine with this I personally love them because I find scratches they always tell a nice story so this is my opinion point uh, so if you uh, point number four let's uh, finish point number three. If you go for the scratches yourself and you want to repair them, just mix up a color or try the color you want to put on the scratches before on the paper or on a similar wood, whatever it is, and then you go here. And uh, you saw it in the video, I put some color here, I wait a little bit and then I just uh, clean the violin again and often the scratches are a little bit less already and it looks better. And point number four, and now we come to the sound thing. Point number four and five are the most important uh, two things, rules to improve the sound immediately. So point number four, the bridge. The bridge here was super thick. It was really not good made. What I did, I took sandpaper. Where is my sandpaper? I just wanted to show you this. There it is. <coughs> so I took something like this. And either you take sandpaper, which is minimum 300, 500, you put it on a table and then you take, the, you take this bridge, you put it flat on the sandpaper and you start uh, doing this. Yeah, you start uh, rubbing it or whatever. And you will see you need to go for both sides always and it needs to get thinner and thinner and thinner. The result of this was, uh, is that on top where the strings are, it's uh, maximum one millimeter, maybe a tiny bit less, and the the lower part, the bottom where the where the feet are, this was also a bit higher, and um, these are kind of I would say two and a half three millimeters the width, and how to how to make the 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 feet smaller because often they are also a bit too high. You take the sandpaper, but in this case you go for a more fine sandpaper, about uh, I would say 200, 150, and you put the sandpaper flat on the part, uh, on the wood here where uh, the bridge is standing. On top of this you put the bridge and you start going sideways on the sandpaper, exactly on that spot where the bridge usually is uh, standing. And uh, after this you can just check if they're not too thin, but it also will help. So finally what I got, the result of the bridge, it's thinner and also the feet are thinner. And why is it necessary to do? Because the bridge is the first, the first thing which will, uh, which is connected, connecting the strings to the violin body. And it needs to vibrate as much as possible to, to bring the sound through the st strings to the body. And if this one is too thick, it's not working good. Right now, 
it's way better. And point number five, what I did is just go for better strings. It's amazing what strings will do uh, a difference, okay? So, and uh, point number six, which is also just for, for the look like, I really shortened this one so they were just too long. Also, you saw in the video, now it looks really way better. So, that's it, and then... <laughs> The sound is amazing. Compared to the beginning sound, right now it really increased really, really a lot. This five steps, that's it. You do it and believe me, if it's not a super shitty violin, you will get, I would say, minimum 30 to 50% more and better sound. Hey, sorry, I almost forgot one important thing. Often I have this uh, request, how to get these ones, like how to uh, get them solid in the violin so they don't turn back anymore. Well, it's pretty easy. You take a bit of chalk, like simple chalk, which is in, in, in all the schools or maybe your kids or whatever it's around they have. You take it and you paint the wood of this one um, like a little bit. So, and you need to paint the parts which are really connected to the wood after making this in the violin. And then you stick them in, turn a bit, and you will see it's gonna be super solid and it won't go back anymore. That's it. If you like the video, follow me on my channel. And for now, I hope it helped you. Keep on, stay tuned, and go practicing, and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.